Pokemon Sword is rated E for Everyone by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword Blind Con- Uh, Crown Tundra. I was gonna say content. In the last episode, we got ourselves a carrot and we planted it here in the fields in the old cemetery. We were able to get a glimpse of the horse, which I thought was supposed to be a llama, uh, Spectria, Spectria, which has gone all the way back to Freezington. Oh, and I can just fly back to Freezington. That's great. I like that. And it looks like I'm able to fly back to the temple that I found. That must be what these little nubs are now that I get a good look at them. So there's a temple here. Temple there. Nope, never mind, that's just a cave. Oh, then maybe that's not a temple, maybe that's just a cave. Anyways. Huh. Oh, that's the Dynamax cave. Anyways, we're going to go back up to Freezington because it's in danger. Also, I have a legendary Pokemon that I should be able to find here somewhere. In the giant's bed. Ferizion. Not entirely sure where it will be, but apparently Verizion is somewhere here. So we're just going to keep an eye out if we see a giant deer-like Pokemon, then we're going to go after it. Let's get back to Freezington. We'll take the shortcut again. This way. That Pokemon, it is the one from the fairy tales. Is it the one from the fairy tales? A huge Pokemon like that could lay waste to our whole village. Please, someone, anyone, get it to settle down. Please help, there's a Pokemon threatening our village. I mean, it looks like it's just standing there. Wait. Oh, it came charging right at me. Spectria appeared. So one thing I could do is just throw a Master Ball at it. Let's see what I can do first. Stone Edge. Don't die! Really? That's not what I wanted.
Eek! Looks like I'm gonna get another shot at catching this. Either that or I couldn't catch it to begin with. Are you alright? Yes, I feel like something stepped in to save me. Tuff of black mane hair. The hair is very smooth to the touch. Oh, kind visitor, how could I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of that Pokemon in the fairy tales, the loyal steed of the king. Ah, but no doubt I am overthinking things. Hmm, what is that you have there? Is that a tuft of black mane hair? In the fairy tales, it is said that by weaving the hair of the loyal steed together with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reins of unity, which link the king with its steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used to weave the reins of unity, following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. Of course, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower, and the method of making the reins has also been lost to time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations. That Pokemon could well decide to pay us another visit after all. Thank you very much for your help, kind traveler. Okay, so, ooh, I'm assuming, oh, you know what, I probably couldn't have caught it anyways. You have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Were I at my full power, I could have tamed my steed and regained its loyalty. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence it, was influence its will and make it depart. If only I had the reins of unity, they would have allowed me to tame my steed in short order. We need a flower. What's that? We can make a set of reins with the uh, main hair of my loyal steed and a flower that I can grow? A flower, a flower. Yes, of course. I assumed that the humans stopped making the reins of unity because they had lost their faith in me. But it was because I lost the power to grow the material needed. I have spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower. Doing so drained so much of my power. But for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have returned to me just now. There is only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom. It's not going to just bloom anywhere. Oh. Crown us, bloom us. Take this, human child. A single petal that the king of bountiful harvests gave you. It radiates faint light. <sighs> it shames me to admit it, but a whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know if that petal will be enough, but I still must ask that you use it to create the reins of unity. The descendants of the family who once made the reign should still live in this village. I put my hopes on you, human child. Do do do. To the mayor.
Oh, hello again, savior of our village. Come to do some more reading. I need a favor. I beg your pardon, you want me to make a set of reigns of unity? Well, I say, that presents a bit of a problem. If my dear great-granddad was still around, he'd have been able to make you a set. But unfortunately, we've no one left who knows the traditional ways at this point. What's more, I doubt you have the flower you need to forge the set of reins. Got a petal, at least. Is... Is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, would that not mean that the King of Bountiful Harvests has truly... No, no, I dare not hope. If I recall, my ancestors made reins of unity by following the ways passed down in fairy tales. There were two key materials, a flower and hair from a Pokemon. But I'm afraid those old traditions have long since faded from memory. And still, how could I refuse a favor to such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. I can't promise this will turn out as well as the ones my great-granddad would, would have made, but time to breathe life into the traditions of my village. Click clack, click clack. Whirr, whirr. Hrumph. I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. I fancy myself a crafty enough sort, but I suppose it'd take a craftsman to truly dedicate technique to such fine reins. Oh, please don't look so dejected. I'm very sorry, truly I am. Oi, Mr. Mayor. The hot water in my shower seems to have gone on holiday. Ah, yes, terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it soon. Oh, you're here too, Chief. Were you in the middle of something? The pair of you seem awfully gloomy. Here's what happened. What? Is that all? Ha ha ha. So all you need to do is make some nice cord. Pass those materials to me, Mo. All right, got my petal, got my hair. Now, what am I supposed to do with them? If I may be so bold, allow me to share a song that survived, survives from the legends. Blossom woven round and round, a royal gift in Maine's hair bound. Steady on, old bloke, the sin ends a bit much. Oh well, that'll do for an answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. All finished. Have a look. Think this'll do? Cord that shines when you hold them up to the light. The people of old times present these to the King of Bountiful Harvest to express their gratitude. You're more capable than your face lets on. These reigns of unity are a spitting image of those in my family's tales. Gah ha 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 ha. I don't sew all my dear rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Even the explorer's outfit I gave you was handmade by yours truly, Chief. Heh, <laughs> in any case, it seems you got the reins of unity you need. Isn't that just smashing? I'm assuming Calyrex is gone. Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep outside again. I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I'd warm myself up with a good hot shower at our base, but the water coming out was ice cold. I got ultra... Human child, were you able to make the reins of unity? Chief Yoni did. Indeed, this man has done so much to aid me, I do hope I can repay him some time. I have some good news of my own. I was finally able to track down my loyal steed. Spectrier is making its home in the Crown Shrine. It is a place where my loyal steed and I spend much time together. 
I had been avoiding the place as I feared I would get trapped in mine own nostalgia. Why has my loyal steam made the shrine its home? Is it reminiscing at, about our time together? No, it can't be. The crown shrine stands majestically at the top of the north m mountain to the north. Bring the carrot and the reins of unity and meet me there. I shall hasten there now, but you may come when you feel ready. I'm counting on you, child. Oh, and he's just taking Peony with him. Using the main hair I got by defeating the Pokemon that was once the loyal, the king's loyal steed, along with the radiant petal grown by Calyrex itself, I was able to recreate the reins of unity. Now I need to head to the crown shrine, where the steed's been living to meet up with Calyrex. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think what I'm gonna do... What can I do? Oh, um, I should note, because it happened between episodes, when I got Kiram with my brother, I went to Stow on site to sell some treasure for a high uh, money cost, and to also get, uh, to also try to buy the chipped teapot for my Sinistee I mentioned. And the guy you buy items from gave me the DNA splitter, which I use on Kiram to merge it into one with Zekrom or Reshram. I do not have those two Pokemon with me, so we're kind of hooped for the use of the Pokemon for now. I totally forgot about forgotten about it until just now when I opened my bag. Let's see. So, Calyrex wants us to go up here. I... Giant's foot. The giant's bad. Giant's foot. But strange names. Lakeside Cave. I wonder if I go here. No. She said the Pokemon was here. So maybe I go somewhere. I don't know. I want to try to find Verizion in this episode. Before we move on. So let's see what kind of experience we can find. I see a big hole over there. Maybe that's where... Okay. The energy is trickling out. Verizion. Oh, Verizion! Oh, hello, mysterious other temple. Assault vest. Stone edge. This must be Reggie Rock.
Let the first Pokemon hold a never-changing stone. Oh, well, that's easy. Everstone. Should have lots of them. Right there. Give. Yes. Here we go. So it's not Verizion. The huge Pokemon statue is looking down at you. Something changed in the air. A rocky power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. Do you want to check it out? Yes. Za, 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 re, za. Oh, this is nostalgic. A wild Reggie rock has appeared. Okay, it is. 70. Uh, what is my weaker moves? Zen headbutt. Do -do -do. Okay, so I can do a couple Zen headbutts. Superpower is a ground move? I thought it was a rock move. Zen headbutt again. Okay, it used superpower again. There's only 5 PP for superpowers, so it can just keep doing that and decreasing its stats. I will use my next Pokemon. Let's bring out Spade. At least now, superpower won't be as strong. This is gonna kill it. That's not what I wanted. Reggie Rock has stopped moving. Oh. Something has changed in the air. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, if you kill him, it just turns back off and then you just reactivate him. Okay. Let's go one more time. This time for Shadow Ball. <laughs> That's right, your ground moves are nothing. Shadow Ball, come on, come on. And don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, one more Shadow Ball. Oh, wait, that doesn't make sense, unless Reggie Rock has something similarly to my Pokemon, my Aurora's Refrigerate. We are in a building, I don't have Dusk Balls. Let's go, let's go with Ultra. I'm so mad at myself right now. 
I'm not restarting. This is a mistake I'm gonna live with for the rest of my life. It's probably a good thing, to be honest, because now I won't misuse it on a weaker Pokemon. Let's get rid of Flatter. I'm just, I'm still so upset. I'm, oh. And that's on camera too. No, we won't give Reggie Rock a nickname. Send him to the party. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. You looking out for yourself out there, Chief? Come again? You've met the rock giant, Reggie Rock? Ha, smashing job, Chief. Now, time to keep looking for the other giants. Keep up the good work. And, yeah. Darn it. But you know what? At least we caught ourselves a legendary Pokemon, which is kind of what we were after. I have a feeling that in order to complete... To find Virizion, we have to go into the grass and wild encounter it. Because that's really the only way that I can see us coming across Virizion. Either that, or there's a special cave. No. Nope. Let's go upriver, however. Maybe there is still something here. Avoid the basculin. Uh, ooh. Rare candy and life orb. Ooh, jumping fish. Balamer Lake. This is definitely an incorrect direction. Might as well see if there's something that I can fly to here. Currently not, but I can fly back to the temple. Let's do a little bit of a bike ride in the area. Whimsicott, Shuckle, Whimsicott, Boltund, Dawnstone. Oh, thank goodness, Twigs. That reminds me, we still need to find the person who can weave Twigs. Silver Powder, Energy Root, Greedent, Pungent Root, Bottle Cap. I think that's a Gossifleur that I was seeing in the grass. Energy trickling out. Ooh! Tyrantrum. So Tyrant must be in the grass down here. Oh, thank goodness. I got a wishing piece. Okay, more Shuckle. I just heard Eevee. Yeah, I see Tyrant. I don't want to fight Tyrant. Thanks, Tyrant. Okay, let's... Uh... Uh, Shadow Ball. Uh, Shadow Ball.
Okay. Let's not get into another battle with that. We're just gonna finish up exploring what we have here. In this area, more twig? No, Stardust. Corvenai, Indeedy. Little island down there. Metronome. Uh, a bit of energy. Ooh, another Tyrantrum. More Pokemon Dens. Uh, ooh, careful. Ooh, Bolt Hunters. Really? Uh. Bolt Hunter really wanted to get a bite on me. Okay. Here we are at the tree. Oh. Oh. This could not happen at a more worse time. Oh, they they're not going to come kill me. Interesting. Beep beep beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Peony. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Hang on, Chief. There's breaking news on the telly. They're saying dodgy bird Pokemon are popping up left and right. There's this pointy feathered one in the wild area. Plus a fiery looking one out on the Isle of Armor. And this fancy graceful one apparently flying about the Crown Tundra. Wouldn't it be something if they turned out to be the bird Pokemon I wrote that clue about? Hmm, if that were the case, I'd think I'd call this expedition something like... A Legendary Tree of Legendary Three. Now I've gone and Ultra Mega completely forgot what I called you for in the first place. Well, life's too short to sweat the small stuff. Ta, Chief. Okay, well, I was not expecting to be greeted with that. What do we have in this area? Ah, here are some apricorns. Probably fallen from the tree above. Anyways, guys, we are going to call it there for an episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not for more Pokemon Sword Crown Tundra Blind content. We'll see you guys in the next episode when I figure out how to get away from this tree. Here it is. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.